now I hear you. All right, so I'm turning that around. All right, so say something, Raiden and Jojo. Hi. I don't think I will, actually. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Shut up. Um, I yeah. guess we're good. Thank you, um, Twitch user. I made this account for this, too, for saying that Raiden is good. I agree. Raiden is good. So we have just to sing Carcalicious. No, don't do that. <laughs> I could do that. Uh, I, I'm not going to do that for free. Uh, first question, which will be going into the chat now. Would you rather choose meat or candy? <laughs> Ugh. This is like also if we're just comparing meat and candy to like the logistics of like the actual timeline. Um, I don't want to deal with Jane, so I'm going in meat. <laughs> I think that if we're talking about Homestuck, I'd probably choose meat. That's right. just because I all know that I am a Dave Cat and a also Callie. Right. I love Callie with my whole heart my whole well, chest is, yeah. he does have dilf cat so that's true you know but he's like malnourished no he's not he's a hot he's a hot dilf eh. you... eh. depends on your perspective <laughs> so uh okay so next question this is going to be an interesting one would you rather be a member of the midnight crew or the felt i want to be a badass well so this is, uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't really like Durst, so I'd have to live there for a while. So that would, that would kind of suck, because mm -hmm. Durst is the 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 shitty purple planet who no one likes. And, uh, but I, I I would also have to deal with Spade Slick trying to stab me. However, I would rather do that than uh, have to like deal with uh, a leprechaun. That's fair, actually. I actually had a, a headcanon thread on Twitter about leprechauns, and the one that got the most traction was that leprechauns are actually not... They're, they're, they're made of... They're, like, their skin is felt. That's yeah. that's canon. But what I said was inside, they're filled with uh, only stuffing. And someone asked on Twitter, what about the blood? And I said, uh, there's blood in there, too. So they're, they're filled with, like... Squishy cotton. I was thinking I was gonna go with the group that didn't die, but then I realized they all die. Uh, all spoilers. Die. <laughs> <laughs> spoilers for Homestuck. Yeah. They all die. The results right. are. <laughs> Sixty-nine percent for Midnight Crew. Hey. That's the car cat number. Yeah, that's the car cat number. Nice. That's what it is. Can I, can I get yeah, a nice yeah. in the chat? But all right, here we go. Here we freaking go. So. Here is the would you rather for y'all again. Mm -hmm. Would you rather experience the existential horror of being a hope brain ghost or experience the existential horror of being a pair of glasses who only exist to impersonate someone else? Brain ghost. <laughs> Flat out. <laughs> I would, uh, brain ghost Dirk is the choice that I would pick. However, uh, Lil Hal has an objectively better fate because he gets to be part of Arqueus. So yeah, that's fair. <laughs> if you're well, why would I want to be Arqueus? Why would you not want to be Arqueus? Because you get to hug Dave Petta. But he's sweaty. Are he's... you sweat shaming? Yes, I am sweat shaming. I know I already said my answer, but like being a brain ghost of like. Dirk and being a brain ghost of just like yourself in someone else's mind, I feel like are two very different things. Like brain ghost Raiden would yeah. just show up when you're not taking care of yourself and be like, fucking drink some water or something. God. Right. Here we go. Would you rather live with the game over timeline or the epilogues? Are you kidding me? The game over timeline, everyone fucking dies. <laughs> I'd, rather be, I'd rather be dead. <laughs> yeah. And nice. also, they're not dead, dead. They come, they come back into Resident Evil members, so they're technically alive, but they're not underneath well, a dictator. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. My answer is completely reliant on the fact that, like, I have no attachment to like life. I guess. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh. I don't know. Being in the dream bubble sounds like a bad time. It just sounds boring. All right. Well. Obviously, oh, sorry. Uh, all right, game over wins by 55%. Wow. So it was actually kind of close. 
I'd rather be bored than like live I'd rather, under a fascist. Yeah, I'd rather be bored than like go under a dictatorship. All right, I'm gonna. This is a risky question, but we're gonna do it. It's fine. Uh -oh. Um, would you rather Kanaya be cucked? Uh, by a TZ in regards to Rose, or would you rather Kanaya be cucked by Jade? I would rather she live a happy life, even if it's an alone life. Right. Yeah. <laughs> everyone in the chat's like, I'm not voting on this. <laughs> I, I, I really, shout out to everyone in the chat for uh, for the Kanaya love. I, kn I know a lot of people don't like this interpretation, but I, I do think that uh, Terezi and Rose being in a collagenous thing is like uh i i don't I, we haven't seen kanaya's opinion on that relationship and also it doesn't seem to involve kanaya so it's hard for me to call it like traditional cucking Yikes. but just saying that word poisons my very tongue i i'm on team terezi too because neither is great without the context but one of them one of them is a lot of circumstances in between and another one is just like straight up no, no bueno. So I'm on team for the lesser of two evils. Like like Jojo said, with Terezi, it's kind of Rose's way of acting out in the only way she can as a robot who was built and programmed by Dirk. Kanaya, her whole arc is about the perpetuation of her species. She is very intimately familiar with like raising children. She's very intimately familiar with what it means to be a mother, almost uniquely so for uh, a troll of all people. And I really think that if Rose just went up to Kanaya and said, hey, uh, can I have uh, a surrogate baby with my friend Jade? Kanaya would have been like fucking stoked for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not even I mean, not even like just like accepting of it. She would have been like really excited for it because the Kanaya in my brain is like, very supportive so i'm honestly just waiting for kanaya to finally be able to go ape shit like oh, somewhere yeah. at some time see oh, it's, and neither is great would you rather live on alternia or before us <laughs> oh no this sucks now we're getting so, to the sucky shit uh am i a human on these planets i think for uh, the simplification no you're not uh, like you said, it's kind of a uh, shit either way, mm -hmm. but I think I'd rather be on before us because uh, just I, I think that uh, systemic sort of injustice is a stickier topic, but I think it's better than violence. So you either have the chance of living in a bad society that can get you killed or living in a bad society in which you potentially have to have another person, who, even if they were like, like your same age potentially another person that would like call you coddle you or other people who would coddle you or potentially have things set up in your life because it's like oh like you know it doesn't matter that you're full a, a full-grown troll or a troll that's capable of taking care of yourself we have to make sure you're not saying anything that you shouldn't we I think yeah that, uh, i think I'd, i i would also choose before us because uh i'm a i'm an idealist and i think i i would be able to uh much like the injustices we're facing now, uh, enact some kind of change to try to fix it. Mm -hmm. Because on Alternia, you probably couldn't do that. You'd probably just get fucking killed. I'm still okay. Going so first. in in some or alternate Alternia. universe, mm -hmm. in some alternate universe, there is a panel of trolls asking the same <laughs> question: Would you rather live on Earth A or Earth B? And they're like, Oh man, I don't know. I personally hate. The idea of having every move I make be like watched. Watched. I'm already every like, breath you take. paranoid like all the time. I every got move tape on my webcam. Christ. But like it's just it's not a nice feeling. Alright, this next one, this is gonna be an interesting one because one of them does have a catch. Would you mm -hmm. rather be stuck on the meteor or stuck on the ship? Uh, Depends, because then you have to remember the fact that Gamzee is there. Yeah. I'm, I'm caught between two things. Cheering up Jade on the ship because she's lonely. You know, uh, be on the meteor because Risco is there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to go with the meteor just because there's more people. 
I want to keep Jade company, and also I think I'm yeah. pretty used to uh, to being so, I'm like in quarantine mode and by myself. So we we'll we'll, we'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hmm. Look, okay. Okay. I will be selfish because think about it. Jade's a. Uh, I mean. An emotionally compromised teenager. Uh, Oh god, I'm not a, I'm a, I'm not about to say a good thing. She's used to being by herself, so I'm sure she'll be fine. Oh no, girl. Oh, no. <laughs> My poor heart. It's time for me to get canceled. Meteor. I, I hardly do, know her. I don't want to be the person that either makes or breaks Jade's ability to learn how to talk about her feelings. Yeah. Um I am not personally comfortable with being that person. Right. Like I cannot teach you how to word. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's take a two minute break for right now yeah. and I'll, g I'll gather I, some I, more questions. I actually, I actually have a question yeah. upon our return. So I have a, would you rather question Oh, okay. that I'm going to commandeer. So, uh, Sweet we'll, we'll take a little break mm -hmm. and then we'll come back to that. It'll be great. I'm going to okay. go, uh, okay. drink water. Sweet. I have to also get water actually. I, I have water, so. Well, we can't all be perfect. <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>